The Rugrats have been one of the most popular Nickelodeon shows at the time, ever since debuting their first ever episode on August 11th, 1991. Ever since then, they have appeared with spin-off titles, video games, movies, and theme park rides. But the subject of these babies' histories that I'm going to be talking about is their appearance in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade as one giant balloon from the late 1990s to the early 2000s. The Rugrats made their debut as one giant balloon in 1997 with Nickelodeon as their sponsor. The design itself shows Tommy Pickles and his scaredy cat best friend Chucky Finster riding on Tommy's dog Spike. Not only that, but they ended up being one of the surviving balloons of the parade that year, along with Arthur, Big Bird, Garfield, Peter Rabbit, Spider-Man, and Bumpy, in terms of the giant balloons. Four other characters were either damaged or pop, and two balloons were removed because of a character that I will talk about in a future season. In their debut, the balloon didn't get any damages, and they luckily survived the entire route on their first ever parade appearance. All right, we'll take a look at Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade's first three-character balloon. From creators Arlene Klasky, Gabor Chupo, and Paul Germain, meet the Rugrats, Tommy Pickles, the adventurous leader, his best friend, Scary Cat, Chucky, and along for the ride, their faithful pal, Spike. Rugrats balloon is furnished by Nickelodeon. We're told that 2,000 yards of fabric went into bringing this trio to life. Enough material to outfit the members of two of today's marching bands for me and Willard. The world of Rugrats is about life from a baby's point of view, from the knees up. Tommy's slogan is, a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do. That's right, Pilgrim. And that doom and gloomer, Chucky says, when all else fails, cry. That works for me. And Spike, well, just like your own doggy, he can't talk, but he does take the Rugrats on some big time adventures on Nickelodeon's popular series. Just like he did today. That suits the terrific hat in the hat and party time at the hit Broadway musical Smokey Joe's Cafe. You're invited. The address is right here on NBC. In 1998, where Macy's and the people of New York City have new rules for the balloons on size limits, the expansion of handlers and pilots, and have two utility vehicles from the John Deere company to help control the balloons. The Rugrats was one of the balloons that got to stay in the parade. And it was pretty exciting for this baby trio as they promoted their first ever movie called The Rugrats Movie, which is already playing in theaters right now at the time. But like 1997, the weather was heavy winds with lots of rain, which managed to deflate four balloons before even starting the parade. As for the Rugrats, they were somewhat lowered to the ground to battle the high winds, but luckily they survived the entire route again for their second trip to New York City. On the lookout for danger and adventures, it is the Rugrats, Macy's first three-character balloon. Their fearless leader, Tommy Pickles, his worrywart pal, Chucky, and providing transportation down Broadway, Tommy's dog, Spike. Spike's snout, by the way, is longer than two New York City taxi cabs. Let me tell you guys, I know this show very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. The world of Rugrats is all about life from a baby's point of view. One-year-old Tommy's slogan is, we're babies, we're supposed to get in trouble. That's our job. I like Scaredy Cat Chucky's favorite saying, when all else fails, just cry. That's my philosophy. And Spike, well, he doesn't say anything he's a dog but he does take the rugrats on some wonderful adventures like today's this is their second trip to macy's thanksgiving day parade a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do thanksgiving brings in another adventure the rugrats movie announcing the biggest event in rugrats history the birth of tommy's new baby brother dill pickle love that name In the 1999 parade, nothing really big happened for the Rugrats balloon, 
other than their third Macy's Parade appearance. Meanwhile, Nickelodeon furnishes us with Rugrats, those TV babies who know all about life from a little one's view. Macy's first three-character giant balloon is the size of 20 playpens, leading the bunch that take charge child himself, Tommy Pickles, holding off for dear life, Tommy's bespeckled best buddy, Chucky, that lovable scaredy cat. And along for the ride, of course, Tommy's dog, Spike. Well, you know, Katie, Tommy may be in diapers, but he really gets things done. As he says, a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do. According to Worry Wart Chucky, there's nothing to fear but monsters. The way Chucky sees it, when all else fails, cry. Those designer specs are wider than two bunk beds. And Spike, well, he doesn't say very much, but he does take the babies on some exciting adventures like today's. Spike's snout is as long as a school bus. All in all, the fabric needed to create the Rugrats balloon is enough to make uniforms for 300 of today's marching band members. And lighting the way for Santa's arrival. In the new Millennium Parade in 2000, with the promotion of Rugrats in Paris the movie, which was already playing in theaters on November 17th of that year. They added a French parade on Tommy's head for the promotion of the movie. Moving right along, Nickelodeon furnishes Rugrats. Tommy Pickles with a cool new beret and his besteckled best friend Chucky and Tommy's dog Spike. You liked that, didn't you? <laughs> Katie has to do, or, or Katie Tommy's cool beret has to do with the trio's new feature film, Rugrats in Paris, the movie. It is très chic. Très, très chic, if that's not. It took plenty of fabric to create the Rugrats balloon, enough to span 11 football fields. These are fun. I'll take the Tommyisms, and you can take the Chuckyisms. Tommy likes to say, a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do, and you can't seize the day in a playpen. Come on, let's bust out of here. And that scaredy cat Chucky says there's nothing to fear but monsters, and when all else fails, cry. Spike says nothing, but he's into adventure big time. Word is, with those Rugrats in Paris, France never had a chance. In the 75th parade in 2001, not only the Rugrats were celebrating their 10th anniversary, but they received their very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Flying high for its fifth year, the Rugrats balloon with that can-do or can-do-do kid in diapers, Tommy Pickles, a born leader. Careful, I'm a new father. That hits home. His scaredy-cat sidekick, Chucky Finster, is a real baby doomer. His philosophy, we've said it before, every silver lining comes with a cloud at the end. And when all else fails, cry. Once again, transportation's provided by the baby's best buddy, good old Spike. And speak of transportation, his snout is longer than two New York City taxi cabs, Katie. Furnished by Nickelodeon, Rugrats celebrated, celebrates its 10th anniversary with festivities that include their own star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. You can't get any bigger than these mini megastars. The balloon, by the way, is the size of 20 playpens. The Ask Jeeves Balloon, Mayor Rudy Giuliani of the Heroes of New York City. Macy's Parade marches on. Don't miss a beat. After 2001, it was retired. And that concludes the Rugrats history in the parade. So a total, the Rugrats history in the parade is a total of five appearances as a balloon. Will we ever see them come back to the parade? Well, the Rugrats got a reboot in 2021. And it got a second season this year, but I really don't know.